Tape script 9.5. A social conscience. One. I was in the bank the other day and waiting in a queue. I just reached the front of the queue when this guy jumped in front of me and said, "I just need to ask a quick question." I wasn't very happy, and I hate making a scene, so I let him. But then it started taking ages. He looked back at me and grinned. He was so pleased with himself, and I was just furious. What could I do? I said nothing. Two. I was in the park, right, and there was this woman with three kids. She'd obviously had a bad day, yeah. She'd just been shouting at the kids for messing around. One of the kids, the eldest boy, about eight, bumped into his little sister and knocked her over. The mother turned on this kid, the boy, and she hit him really hard. I went over to her and told her to stop. She told me to mind my own business and said some very rude words and stormed off, screaming at the poor boy. He was just a kid. Three. My neighbour always lets his dog do his, you know, business right by my front door, and I always clean it up day after day because it just stinks. So the other day I asked him if he could get his dog to do its business somewhere else, or could he pick it up because I didn't like it right by my front door. He was absolutely horrible and said he'd put it in my letterbox from now on. So I suppose I'll just carry on picking it up. What else can I do? Four. I was on the bus the other day. There was just me and a couple of kids. These two kids had their feet on the seat in front of them, so I asked them to put their feet down. These kids, they must have been about. Sixteen or seventeen came over to me, pushed me onto the floor, and started kicking me. I've got bruises everywhere. I've only just been able to walk again. Five. I was walking down the street, coming home from work about ten at night. It was dark, and this guy jumped out of nowhere and said, "Give me your wallet and phone." He had a knife, which he had right up against my nose. I didn't say anything. I was just terrified. I thought he was going to kill me. I just handed over both, and he ran away. Oh, I was trembling for ten minutes. I couldn't move. I've never been so frightened in all my life.